welcome to Right On with John Crane. And up next in the What's In Your Bag tool series here is we got this right here, a pair of dividers. So uh, let's take a closer look at these dividers. All right, here I got a little lineup of uh, dividers here from around the shop and uh, right, right. Yeah, I know all you guys are uh, stunned there that I'm actually wearing a blue plaid shirt there and not dressed in all black as I usually am. But uh, yeah, a little change up today. All right, so back to the uh, dividers here. All right, so we got a little lineup. Here's some uh, old school ones down here. You guys remember uh, these right here. Uh, used to give you these in school. The old school, you know, uh, compass here and you put the pencil in there we got the the mongol 482 pencil in there and uh, here's a slightly uh, newer version there and then as we move over right we got some uh architectural compass here and similar you know as a, a divider there here's a similar pair here uh these are great. You can replace uh, the lead in there and uh, replace the points, adjust those. And uh, here's a great little pair right here. Check out the mechanism on this pair of dividers. And that just has such a nice movement there. And if we look at this uh, little thumb wheel right here, this moves the leg of this divider in and out, you know, so you can uh, do some real nice uh, fine adjustment with this. That's a nice little piece there. That's out of my grandfather's toolbox there. Now here's uh, this set of Stanleys that I keep in my tool bag all the time. And this is just a, a great pair of dividers. It's got this metal point right here that you can replace with a pencil, you know, and you just pull this guy right out and, uh, you know, slide the pencil in there. And there you go, you know, I think that's, uh, this is one of my favorites here. This is a Stanley, I think it's a 41017. I don't know if that's coming up there, but this is uh, one of my favorite tools and uh, I like the patina and the finish of it. And uh, usually it doesn't come with this, uh, heat shrink on here. I put this uh, green heat shrink on a lot of my tools in the tool bag just to identify them, separate them. Uh, sometimes I'm working on jobs with other people there and uh, I can just easily identify my tools. And uh, I might do a video down the road uh, just showing how I uh, do some of the heat shrink on different tools there. But anyhow, uh, back to this tool here. Right, it's got the uh, adjustment screw right here. You open this up, right, obviously, and uh, swing the uh, dividers open and close. And then right here, you got the fine tune on this knob so you can uh, adjust these dividers in and out. And then as we move on down the line here, here's a couple small pairs of uh, Sterrett dividers. And uh, these are great for layout work on steel, uh, laying out bolt holes, bolt hole patterns, uh, laying out sheet metal work. Uh, you know, it's just endless uh, what you can do with these. You know, here's another little, nice little stubby pair there. And uh, it's got the little adjustment wheel. And then look at this old pair here. This is out of my grandfather's toolbox as well. This looks like uh, these were made by some sort of blacksmith or something here, but still in the nice work and shape. They got a little rust on them, a little nice patina, but uh, that's a pretty cool project. That'd be fun to make uh, something like that. And uh, not to be confused with uh, like inside and outside calipers, right? Uh, useful tools, kind of in the same family there, but, uh, but quite different in their use. And, uh, I always like this little mechanism right here for adjusting these calipers, you know, you can, uh, do some fine tensioning right here, right? And then you can just squeeze these and move this over 
and uh, you know open these up. Uh, that's just a a really cool little mechanism. The quick slide on there. All right. All right. So there's so many uses for these uh, dividers and uh, compasses. Uh, so I'm just going to go into a few of them today, and I'll show you a few examples on uh, how I like to use these dividers. All right, first step here, perhaps you want to do a little layout work on some sheet metal. So I got a sheet here, and I got a little layout die on there. And then I'm going to come in with my dividers here, and I'm going to say you want some holes here that are two inches apart. So you grab your ruler here. And then come right in uh, with your calipers here. And instead of coming from the end of the ruler and coming in and doing two inches, I like to come in on a mark like this two inch mark where I know I'm gonna hit right on the money there. And you can kind of feel the tips of these click into place on the ruler there. And then just lock uh, the little dial right there. And if that wasn't right on the money, right, you could come back and use your fine adjustment there. All right, and now we'll come into our piece of sheet metal here. And uh, I got this line on here that I got scribed in there one inch up. You can kind of see that there. And let's just arbitrarily start right about here. And you can feel the uh, dividers come in and kind of click into that line. And then, right, just swing a little arc. And then same thing, you feel that kind of click into the line right there. Right, and super simple, right? You guys got it. You just move this right on down the line. And here we go. We got a bunch of uh, two inch holes marked out there with our dividers. All right? Nice and simple. All right, there's one use. All right, another great use of uh, these dividers is for scribing. It's a great scribing tool. And I'm over here at the Bridgeport Mill, right? And uh, what I want to do is make some little protective covers uh, for the table here on the Bridgeport. And uh, so I got some quarter inch uh, Euro ply, and I'm going to put this on the table here. But as you can see, as I put this on, the curve of the vise right here, I want to match this plywood up right to the curve of that vise. All right, I'll get you in close here so you can see the gap right here of this plywood up against the, the vise. And I wanna make that be a, a, a nice tight fit along there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take my dividers here, right? And I'm gonna set these to the largest gap. So right here, it's the largest gap. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit more than the largest gap. And when you're setting these, you want to hold these 90 degrees off of the thing that you're scribing here, right? So you don't want to change direction as you're scribing. But so now I'm going to come in and I'm going to try to hold these as well as possible at 90 degrees, right? And I'm going to come in and just start following the contour of the vise there. Even right here, I'm going to come in. Right here, I'm going to come in. All right. Still trying to hold these right at 90 degrees. And right there. All right. See now, I got a, a, a nice scribe line drawn on there. And now I'm going to take that over to the bandsaw and cut that out. And what I like to do is to cut it close to the line on the bandsaw there. And then I like to come back in with the disc grinder here with a sanding disc on there. And then I sand it down to the line and get a really nice tight fit. All right, here's our nice uh, scribed edge there. 
And uh, let's butt this up uh, against the vise. All right, and see that? That just came out uh, so nice there. Nice tight fit. And that will keep uh, the chips from uh, going down in there and getting all clogged in there. So, all right, there's a nice use of the dividers there, uh, scribing irregular shapes. All right, here's another classic use. And uh, I just got this set up just for demonstration purposes. Say you got some uh, baseboard and you're coming into a, uh, a piece of flooring here and the floor is all wavy and uh, you wanna have that be a nice tight fit. And so one way to do that, right, is to come in with your uh, dividers there and set that to the biggest gap, right? and then come in and run this along and scribe this along this board. But another tool that I got here is this right here. And uh, so this is another uh, kind of scribing tool that's real similar uh, to the dividers there, except for it has a flat bottom here and you can run this along the floor and do some scribing. So now if you come in with this, same thing as the dividers there, set this uh, to the largest gap, right? And then come along and then run this along your baseboard there. And then there you got a nice scribe line that you can uh, take off with a sander, a belt sander, a power planer, uh, that type of thing there, and be able to get your baseboard to be a nice fit to the floor. All right, hopefully you guys have uh, found some of these tips useful and helpful as far as uh, using dividers and maybe uh, enough to throw a pair of these in your bag there. And uh, these are just always a great tool to have in there and to be able to reach for this and use it. Uh, you know, I didn't go into all the details on uh, how to use dividers and compass there. There's uh, so many other ways uh, to use that tool. So I just hit uh, a couple of the basic uh, things there that I like to use that tool for. And uh, this is a handy little thing. This is made by uh, company FastCap. Uh, if you wanted to grab one of those, uh, they make all kinds of great products, uh, FastCap there. But uh, all right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you liked it, please uh, uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys are all doing great and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, right on. All right, today was just a, uh, a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. I was on the ferry boat here crossing the Puget Sound with my dad and uh, what a gorgeous view of Mount Rainier uh, we had here today.